Ding dong, dumbass. How about you take the beef out of your ears? Cause it's time for another hot edition of your favorite podcast series, Video Essay Without the Video, Dread Tube. That's right, it's time to get in the tube. I'm your host today, Alex Patak Solo. And I'm a bit, I'm going to take you on a journey right now down the most wonderful lane. And that lane, of course, is anime discussion. Now, a lot of you are turning off the podcast right away as I say that, and I would like to implore you no don't. Um This is a specific conversation about the hit 2010s uh, iconic show, Attack on Titan, which is just finishing now, but I am going to do you the favor of tailoring it for you, the listener at home, okay? I know you you don't watch the TV. You live alone in a shack on the edge of town. You have three friends, and one of them is a plank with a face drawn on it. But here's the thing, is I'm going to keep it simple, I'm going to keep it political, and we're going to have a lot of fun as I describe just some wackadoo shit to you for a full lord-blessed hour here in your ears. Um, What do we want to cover up top? Trigger warning, I guess. Frankly, I'm not great at these, but uh, the horrors of man... Trigger warning, horrors of man. <laughs> so, uh, I, a lot of really upsetting stuff happens in this show, and violent uh, war crime style things happen, and if just hearing about those sends you on a, on a bender of some kind, don't listen to the show. I will say, and I've watched a lot of anime, this is one of the few animes I've seen that's like a dark, gritty older teens adult style show where there is no sexual violence so if that is your problem feast your ears buckaroo because they really keep it clean there are they keep it above the belt that's what i would say (laughs) very much very much just a, a a nice boxing match of uh the most the grossest shit you've ever seen in this show and no sex of any kind, which is weird because I've seen like if you watch a uh, Goblin Slayer or Berserk or any of the shows like that, there's everybody is sexually attacking each other, and it doesn't. It takes me out of it when it happens. Like I know why they do it because it's the most upsetting thing you've ever seen, and it kind of like underlines that for the show. Uh, there is no biological reason. Your half Drake is trying to have sex with so many human ladies. It's all I can think about. It doesn't scientifically make sense. Why would you? That's like, that's like if your cat insisted on trying to have sex with all the mice it found. It doesn't. It wouldn't happen. It's not realistic. It takes me out of it. Anyway, that's not in this show, so don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. So, who shouldn't listen to this show? If you have seen half of Attack on Titan and don't want the ending spoiled, I guess just you. I you had a long time to get to the end by this point cuz they're really dragging it out, but uh yeah, if you're a a real prince about endings, you're the one person who shouldn't listen. People who have heard the whole thing or uh rather seen seen the whole show and then people who turn off anime the second it comes on Adult Swim, but do enjoy having obscene things described to them, listen on. Carry on forward. I thought of doing this episode, bit of an explainer up top, I thought of doing this episode because another arc of Attack on Titan, colon, the final season was ending in the last few weeks, and this show's been going on forever, I wanted to see it. False alarm, it turns out... Attack on Titan, colon, the final season. This was the end of part two of three. There's three... The final season takes place over three years, which if you were to work in television production and make that decision, you should be thrown in jail. Everyone's schedules have to be thrown off for this. 
Why would there be, why would, if you name it that, I'm assuming it's ending. Otherwise, just name it season four. What if I told my wife, hey, I'm, I'm moving out until Attack on Titan finishes. Don't worry, it'll just be a few weeks. Oh, wait, I'm gone for three years. Three years, because you had to get cheeky with the name, and I don't want to hear that there was a deadly virus. That's a, it's an easily fixable mistake. Fine people at whatever anime production company this is. All right, we're going to get into it. Uh, Attack on Titan, or as it's known in Japan, Shingeki no Kyojin, as it says in all of the, all the promo for these, which is weird because that's like the Big Apple, as it's known in Spanish, La Gran Manzana. That's just the language. Anyway, uh, Attack on Titan is a show about Titans, and that means it raises an interesting premise for you, the viewer at home. It says, what if there were some really big guys? You know, you probably have a friend who's six foot five or something. Hey, that's a big guy. What if he was seven foot five? What would happen then? Would you, would there be an economy? Could you go to work? Could you go to school knowing there are some huge dudes out there? Well, Attack on Titan presupposes no. No, you could not. For the world itself would come to an end. These are the guys running around in the show. Uh, you see them every day. They're the hallmark, the best part of this entire product, Attack on Titan, is the Titans. Titans, they look like naked men, and they're 2 to 15 meters tall. So anywhere from, like, a pretty big guy to a Godzilla-style gentleman. 